Why do you like this movie, this documentary? Uh, well, there is the obvious connection that uh, the boy is called Timothy and I'm called Timothy. Uh, but that is a slightly frivolous answer to your very serious question. Um, I like it because uh, it does relate to my own life in that uh, I, I was eight at the time that this Timothy was born. So I can remember much of what they show, like the uh, uh, scaffolding around the beaches, uh, the, the, the leaves being swept up, uh, the, uh, the ration books, and various things that were being talked about, uh, perhaps not quite, uh, that people were saying, discussing what sort of terms and the uh, the words unconditional surrender were were very widely being banded about uh, and uh, with general approval i think that is something which we probably think was uh, a little unnecessarily draconian now but uh, one can also understand that in 1944 uh, people having been through the uh, the experiences of of rationing and deprivation and husbands away, uh, that nothing less than unconditional surrender was going to be accepted. But uh, the questions are still prompted by this film. In other words, it was made by intelligent and thoughtful uh, and responsive people, and I think it did find the, uh, the sort of audience that it was looking for. Uh, in that uh, people agreed with the uh, with the sentiments, as well, of course, as being moved by such memorable moments as the the Christmas morning when the train bursts through the fog and we see the perfectly white snow uh, and and the uh, the feeling of Christmas. Uh, perhaps one might now think uh, rather over emotionally captured but nonetheless I think it, it, it did represent what people were feeling at the time that uh, at least the end was in sight and that they could celebrate Christmas uh, with more optimism than they had been able to, to, to celebrate the, the, the past four or five. So as I say remembering as much as I can from personal uh, feelings, uh, I think it's a truthful representation of uh, the best sort of uh, optimism, uh, but with a lot of questions unanswered uh, that are posed in the final minutes of the film. So I, as I say, I think it, it, it represents its time but it also gives us still something to think about uh, because uh, of, if you like, the enduring human condition.